What is Bankruptcy? Presented by WallStreetSurvivor.com. Here's Roger. Roger is a 50-year-old advertising executive at a top Madison Avenue agency. Unfortunately, Roger has had a run of very bad luck. Roger recently lost one of his longtime clients, and now his commissions are next to nothing. Roger had been very careless with his income and has accumulated tons of debt. He has expensive mortgage payments, maxed out all his credit cards, an expensive car, and child support payments. With all these expenses and no income coming in, Roger can't pay his bills. So, what is Roger to do? Because he has no way to pay back his creditors, or the people he owes money to, he is forced to declare bankruptcy. In the United States, there are a few different types of bankruptcies Roger can resort to. Roger decides to declare Chapter 7 bankruptcy. In Chapter 7, the bank liquidates or sells all of Roger's assets, and then pays back the creditors on his behalf. Assets could include any non-essential material possessions, like a car, a house, and jewelry. In Chapter 7, going bankrupt will stay on Roger's credit record for 10 years, meaning in the next 10 years, Roger will have an extremely hard time securing a loan. There are certain items the bank can't possess, such as a suit and tie for job interviews, family heirlooms like a photo album, and the bare essentials for Roger to survive, like a bed or refrigerator. Roger can also declare Chapter 13, or what's known as reorganization. In this case, what usually happens is a single creditor buys all of Roger's debt and then negotiates a deal with him to pay back the debt at a reasonable rate and within a reasonable time frame. A standard time frame is between 3 and 5 years. In Chapter 13, the bank doesn't seize your assets, but you are forced to pay back all the debt on the creditor's terms. In Chapter 13, the bankruptcy will also stay on a credit report for 7 years after the debt has been repaid. While there are other forms of bankruptcy like Chapter 11, which is used primarily for businesses, almost 65% of all bankruptcies are Chapter 7. In the case of businesses, it's the company's assets that are seized rather than the individual's. For more on bankruptcies and other personal finance topics, head over to WallStreetSurvivor.com.